Hi, I'm Taylor from Motfield Woodworking Machinery, uh, and I'm going to talk about our Compacto Fox Briquettes, wood briquettes. Uh, these are a great machine to buy. Uh, they can heat up your workshop, turning your material into a fuel, your waste material that is. Um, if you're spending a lot of money getting rid of waste, you could uh, basically put your dust and shavings um, inside of these machines uh, and they'll create briquettes, uh, just as you can see here. Um, put them into a log burner, um, wood burner, uh, and basically heat up your workshop. Nice and effective uh, way of dealing with your waste. So, uh, I've got the Fox 50 here, the Fox 60, the 65, and the 70 at the end there. Um, obviously all great quality. German manufactured machines. They all feature a Simons PLC board on the inside of the control panel. Let's talk about what we've got on the front face of the machine. This is a pressure gauge, uh, pardon me. Uh, these are all factory set pretty well from Compacto, so uh, if you've ever bought one of these machines, you'll have definitely heard us say, don't mess around with the pressure gauges. Um, we've got a light here for your electrical connection. As you can see, this one's on. Uh, it's, got elect it's electrically connected, all running well. This light will come on when the um, compression chamber is active. Error light, stop, start, and these are the two functions that you've got. You've got a uh, manual and an automatic. Um, I'll show you how they work. Basically, these are enabled by the level sensor that's inside the hopper. This is the level sensor right here. And how this works, once you've got the machine on automatic, is this will spin around, and once it's found a resistance, um, it will start to briquette. Once uh, it spins around and does some full rotation and there's no resistance, um, it sets off a timer inside the uh, PLC uh, and it's around 45 minutes. Again, it's pretty well set by Compacto. Uh, so it gives 45 minutes for you to get all of the stuff underneath the level sensor and then it will stop uh, basically cooling the machine down, uh, which is what you need. You know, we would recommend that you run these, maybe this machine with no oil cooling or water cooling for around uh, two hours, give it a break for half an hour. Uh, if you run it all day, um, it's not going to ruin the machine, it's not going to break the machine. All you're going to see is a decrease of quality in your briquettes. Uh, and obviously they're not going to burn as well, they might crumble, etc, etc. Um, so, so that's the Fox 50. Um, the 60, also the numbers by the way, the 50, the 60, 65 and 70 represent the diameter of the um, sleeve, uh, briquette sleeve. So this will be a 60mm uh, briquette you'd have a 65 and a 70 mil briquette and obviously a 50 as well. We'd recommend that you go for the same depth as diameter, so 60 mil um, depth of briquette as well as diameter. Um, depending on what material that you're using, um, we have this little lever here which can be used to um, adjust the amount of material that comes down the chute. So if you've got a lot of, um, this one for instance, we've got a lot of shavings inside, a lot of light shavings, so we've put it right at the top there so that we can get more shavings in uh, and create a, a, a bigger briquette at the end of the day. Um, it would be ideal to have some fine dust in there to make a, a, a solid 50 mil depth of briquette. Sometimes you can't always achieve it, that's fine as long as you get a good quality briquette. Uh, the Fox 70, we'll have a look at this. Uh, so this is the start of the industrial range of uh, briquettes that Compacto do. These three briquettes have a 5.5 kilowatt machine uh, and this uh, a motor side machine um, and this has a 7.2 kilowatt motor uh, power in the compression obviously a bigger diameter bigger sleeve bigger machine really as you can, you can tell by the size difference um, it's got a standard hopper on it obviously got the window there you can see all your stuff inside to determine what level you're at if you need to put some more material in we've also got circular hopper here um, these are standard this is um, well, it's not really an added option. You can get sort of what, whatever hopper you need uh, put onto the top of the machine. Uh, the control panel on the Fox 70 is a little bit different, but it's, um, it's, it's pretty much the same stuff. Stop, start, uh, manual or automatic, error, light. This basically determines whether you want to use the level sensor or not. Um, and these are... You can well, you can basically make your own cap using these two, uh, but they're more or less for engineering purposes. These lights will basically tell you which part of the machine is operating at what any one point. Uh, and as with any other uh, compactor briquette, you've got a runtime at uh, runtime hours on the front there. Um, inside of every single briquette, there is an agitator. This is 
the mechanism that spins around and pushes your material into the chute uh, and allows you to um, obviously get. As well as these briquettes, uh, we have a carousel unit here. I'm going to turn this machine on in a minute, and you can hear you can hear how loud the briquettes are and see the carousel working. Uh, very effective bit of kit this is means that you don't have to have someone with a box or, or any anyone coming back to check the boxes and overflowing with briquettes. Uh, so with these light shavings, we've not got a lot left in the hopper. Uh, so I'm going to try and shove some in uh, whilst it's briquetting and we'll, uh, we'll have a look at the briquette in the end. So let's have a go. I'm going to turn this on now. <laughs> Okay, so we'll have a quick look at this briquette. And that there is the briquette that's produced from the materials that's inside. A perfect briquette, very strong. Um, of course, it's not 50 mil um, in, in, in depth, but uh, like I said, it, it's not always achievable as you've seen. It's some very light material inside of there. Um, but that's a perfect briquette. That's going to burn very well. It's going to keep the workshop and the lads very warm. Uh, one last thing, please. Uh, machines is a requirement that there is no material uh, higher than 18% moisture inside of the machines. We use a little damp detector uh, if you're interested. Uh, they're available for such a thing, for such a purpose. Uh, apart from that, these are all available at Markfield Woodworking Machinery. So give us an email, give us a call uh, if you want some more information. Uh, thank you very much.